What's up, fam? Once again, this is your boy Lee Black, the voice of TFT Ratchet and host of Real Talk for Real Men. Uh, I'm popping in real quick to give you a little movie review of Monkey Man. It's in theaters right now, and uh, I happen to have a streaming service that allows me to watch all the new release shit pretty much whenever it comes out, and, and clear copies too, so this is no bogus shit. And I happen to want to check this out because, first of all, look at that poster, folks. Look at that poster right there. That right there is what caught my attention. When I saw that and it was being endorsed by Jordan Peele, you know, uh, from Get Out and, you know, the new face of, of horror, I thought, okay, yeah, let me check this out. And the Rotten Tomato score was an 88. You know, so I figured, you know, let me check this out, folks. This is some of the most ridiculous bullshit that you ever wanted to see. They had the, I, the, the, the absolute audacity to try to compare this film to Keanu Reeves' John Wick. Uh, the director is Dev Patel, and apparently he's made some movies that's got some Oscar-worthy buzz, some of the former shit like Slumdog Millionaire, which was just okay. I thought that was more of an artsy film anyway, but in either case, you know, what do I know? The Academy Award, they always, you know, give awards to bullshit. And of course, this is another one where I guess they're trying to pass this off as some John Woo type action film uh, of the same ilk as uh, John Wick and the Equalizer uh, about some underground fighter who basically gets his ass beat constantly by better fighters and ultimately he kind of comes to some realization and with the scars on his hand he goes on a rampage you know tearing through uh, the elite underworld this that and the other folks the shit was just ridiculous first of all and it's only grossed about $28 million globally. It is not even being released in India, which is from India, and they won't endorse it because it kind of gets into some of the uh, political, geopolitical type shit, uh, dealing with their culture and things like that. And so they're definitely not, not riding behind it. Netflix, who was initially was going to get behind it, has decided to jump off the bandwagon which is kind of leaving the film hanging out there by and dry. Look, do whatever the fuck you want to, but Monkey Man is a complete thumb down for me. Um, it's ridiculous. It suckered me in with this uh, visual, and I thought it was going to be a good violent movie, but I should have known better. How fucking violent can Indian people be, you know, on a theatrical scale? So I am not giving it a good view. I am not feeling this film. I am definitely giving it the thumbs down. And so, yes, that's me fucking with my Indian counterparts. Uh, so in either case, I just didn't think the shit was worth watching. I got through about half of it and it just became too ridiculous. Sometimes folks, it does pay to buy American uh, <laughs> because some of the shit that they try to imitate and give it their own cultural style. It, I just wasn't able to connect to it on any level. And it was just a hard for me to fathom and truly buy into the concept of this movie. So for me, I fucking hated it. So 88% rotten score. You can take that shit and sit it back in the garbage because I thought it was garbage. Fuck you, monkey man. But anyway, that's just my take. I'm Lee Black. Keep subscribing to the channel. And if you want to, check this shit out. Who knows? You might like it. Peace.